this racist black church burning terrorist should get terrorist charges. Not only that, they should look into his band and see um, everyone associated with him, especially his band members. This stuff is dangerous, you guys. I'm serious. Yes. This Lords of Chaos wannabe stupid idiot. So you thought you would be like all those black metal bands over there in Norway and all that, burning down churches and stuff like that. But of course, you're one of those national socialist black metal idiots, right? You know, those racist, stupid, dumb Nazi types, right? You know what needs to happen? And it's a shame that it doesn't. These pigots need to be put on notice. And the fact that they get away with just anything that they do is not cool. Yeah, I'm glad that his father turned him in. But the thing is, he needs to learn a harder lesson because he's practicing terrorism. This is domestic terrorism on fellow Americans. Yeah, I know you don't think black people are Americans, but check this out. We have a longer legacy of being more American than many so-called Americans, if you know what I mean. Now, the crazy part about this, uh, for all of you guys that don't know, there's this movement um, in this subculture of black metal. Not all black metal bands are about this, but you got a lot of them that are, unfortunately. This movement is called the National Socialist Black Metal Movement. And basically, they're pretty much influenced off of the whole Nazi thing. And, you know, a lot of them just, I mean, you got people like Varg Vickerings. I don't know if I'm saying his last name. He has a, a channel on here called the Thuelen. And for all you guys that don't know who the Th Thuelen Society is, uh, or, yeah, or Thule Society, they were basically like the occult, um, the occult support for Hitler and in, in, in the Third Reich, pretty much, you know, um, you have Heinrich, Hein Heinrich Hitler, you know, I mean, he, man, I, I know I need to do this video. I've been saying I have notes for it and all that. I just, it's going to be a long video. That's why I'm, I haven't done it yet about like basically the occult, um, Nazi connection and, and just even when it comes to these racist like idiots doing um music these days and even you know you had i mean back then in the 80s you had bands that were really all about that you know like just church burnings over there in their native europe you know over there in um norway and i think even sweden too um th you have a lot of these bands like that were burning churches and all that and some of these bands have i mean committed straight up murder like i think varg was actually put in jail for stabbing um one of his band members just crazy stuff but he he himself i would say influenced a lot of this socialist this national socialist black metal type stuff he's not the only one but i think he was a major part of that a lot of this stuff the subculture is totally nihilistic and you know nihilism in itself leaves room for anything but the thing is it's like what they practiced you know nihilism to me is i get it but it's a joke because at the same time you're still going to put a put an ideology to something no matter what so i look at nihilism as an ideology it's um an ideology that is rooted in atheism, too. Um, and with that, you get some racist idiots that think that they're stronger and superior than any other race. And they believe in the whole survival of the fittest thing, even though they have to have groups and weapons to do what they do. And this is a concoction of chaos. And, and just stupid things that don't need to happen like church burnings 
this guy took it um, not only not only took his key from these Euro terrorists to burning down churches over there, but he definitely took the whole racist thing and burning down um, historically old black churches. So you know what? <sighs> he should have a terrorism charge. He should be labeled a terrorist. They probably will try to give him an arson charge and give him community service or something like that. But no, he needs to be in the feds right now for what he did. I bet you your band sucks, too. I'm a metalhead and an old punk rocker myself. I'm familiar with a lot of these subcultures and all that. But I, I have an aversion, obviously, to neo-Nazis and any kind of subculture. Some of these devils even try to do hip hop. Can you believe that? And even them playing, at least you got to give Varg credit for not playing rock and roll anymore because in his words, he said it was in words music. So you can't get away from, you know, black culture <laughs> as far as like any form of music goes, you know, as far as like popular music, even metal goes back to us. Anyways, um, the the most important thing here is like a lot of these guys, they're they're, they're you, you need to take this serious. You know what I mean, like this is terrorism. A lot of these white identity extremists are doing this, and that national socialistic black metal movement is a part of that. Just like a lot of those so called rock against communism, that's their label for basically saying that they're Nazi punk rock or Nazi rock and roll. You know, it's the same thing. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think.